Well hello everyone, um, today is judgment day for poor Mrs. Cow here. Mrs. Cow has got a redback spider living up inside of the redback spider laid an egg sack in the middle of winter that was a surprise to me. I remember putting a date on the back here of when the egg sack was laid up, it was the 10th of August today, is the 10th of September. I'm sorry Mrs. Cow, it's time to burn. Warning, the spider warning has been removed from this video. I don't want to know anything about the red back spider up there apart from the fact I know it's up there and I'll take Mrs. Cow down to an appropriate spot to uh, give her a hot date. Oh, I've just seen something caught in my eye. Look at this here. Just wait a second, Mrs. Cow. Look at this here. How many times have I discussed this? Mummy's gloves left in the garden and there's a very good chance there's going to be spiders and all that inside there. I'm sorry, Mummy, but they're going to be burnt as well. Oh, don't look at me like that, Mrs. Cow. Sure, the redback spiders love you, but uh, I don't love the redback spiders. Mummy's gloves, I'm a bit tired of them being left in the backyard. And we'll move over next to the uh, garden hose to perform this final act. I just wet down the grass so we're not killing off everything in the backyard in this process. That's sort of Mrs. Cow's uh, last little bath as well. As an added visual treat, um, poor old Mrs. Cow's going to get hotter than hell. And before I give her the kiss of death, I'm going to put this over her because the thought of looking at Mrs. Cow's eyes uh, while she's hit up with flames is uh, starting to play very poorly on my mind. And also make sure Mummy's gloves are covered up there as well. Yeah. Okay, Mrs. Cow, Mrs. Redback Spider up inside there. I'm going to love you and leave you. Oh, yeah. Where's Mrs. Cow? Can you see her yet? Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she looks spiffo, doesn't she? Yeah. Make sure I get Mummy's gloves as well. Wow, Mrs. Cow, you're looking hot tonight. Let's hope Mummy doesn't realise she's lost another set of gloves, eh? I don't think much is going to survive that. Now, Mrs. Cow's going to probably come out nice and clean, I hope. Making sure I get a little tail feather there. And to make sure I've got that pest, uh, which is up inside Mrs. Cow, I'll just uh, lean her over and I'll hit her again. To be sure, to be sure, I don't think anything's coming out of that. Okay, I think Mrs. Cow's had enough. I better come in and uh, cool her down, eh? Yeah, that's better, Mrs. Cow. Feeling better? The good news is, the spiders that would have been in Mummy's gloves, well they're no longer there. Uh, the redback spider that was up inside Mrs. Cow has been given the kiss of death. And if I carefully stand Mrs. Cow up, maybe we can see, oh, she doesn't look as happy as she used to, hey? But what if I told you this video has another dimension? What if I told you that Mrs. Cow has got another story to tell? Maybe it's time to jiggle Mrs. Cow's face there, rewind the video and investigate a totally different timeline. Say hello to Mrs. Cow. Mrs. Cow's got a redback spider plus egg sack living up inside her and today's the day we're going to sort it out. I'm just checking underneath Mrs. Cow to see if the redback spider has put down any drop lines. No, it seems clean. There's an important date that I wrote on the back of Mrs. Cow and it's right there. The egg sack was laid and there was one of them on the 10th of August. Just checking the date today. It's the 10th of September. So now might be a very opportunistic time to sort this out uh, because this egg sack is going to be opening up very shortly, maybe within the next week or so. Let's see what's going on up there. Okay, I can see Mrs. Redback. I can also see the egg sack is still there. And I also notice, wow, she's been busy. She's caught a whole stack of stuff. And I'll tell you what, she looks pregnant again. She's getting big. I'll just try and take a look at her with some sun on her and that might make her move, yes. Okay, I'm just going to make up a little tool uh, to very carefully remove her from Mrs. Cow. So I'll very carefully just get Mrs. Cow back up on her feet because then she can look at me like that and I can go and make a nice little tool. Maybe a very useful tool for me would be to make something to catch redback spiders that doesn't knock them over. 
Let's just call it Spider Catcher Mark 1. Uh, it's going to be something like this, basically a stick, a nice long one with something on the end that is nice and soft and doesn't knock out the spider. I should do some spider catching histrionics and I'll start with this brush here, it's older than me. Uh, in our house this has always been a brush to, that comes out when there's a spider around. Sometimes a spider will crawl onto this and it will uh, move out, then it got the slipper basically, never went outside. The slipper was the main spider killer. I put an extension on this uh, to make it more useful, uh, but what we find is the spiders will crawl under this but they'll quickly crawl off. I'm hoping a shape like this uh, can stop that. It's basically like an egg whisk, but this is a little bit too tough or stiff. I need something soft so it doesn't damage the spider. We are trying to pull the spiders out alive. Don't ask me why. There is a smaller version like that. Okay. And with this, that's the sort of shape that I'm really after. And I thought to myself, well, what about uh, copper wire? This is called bell line. And you could quickly make up a shape like that. Uh, I quite like this because it's customizable. It's nice and soft. And I think the spider, being a redback spider, will put its legs into this. And then I can get it to pull out. That's the theory. But then I also thought um, of this, cable ties. And again, nice and versatile, nice and cheap, very easy to make uh, whatever shape. You can keep adding more circuits in there to make it whatever you want. Hmm, I don't know. It's, it's a toss-up, I feel, between those two. I know some people are going to say, oh, look, Leo, you know, you can use a vacuum cleaner. Yes. And I was thinking I could make like an attachment onto the front here that stop the spider from getting into this area here and dying and basically capturing it in here. But I just thought it's just too much technology. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. And uh, the tool that I've made in the past, which has been fantastic for getting spiders out from between the black tubs in our yard, is this. But the problem with this is sometimes it'll pull a spider out alive uh, because the legs sort of get caught up around this, but sometimes it'll also crush it. We're trying to get the spiders out alive. And it's the Mrs. Cow Spider, if it isn't obvious, that's the one we're trying to get out. Lots of people, <laughs> that's funny, I show things like this on my channel very briefly, and people get excited about things like this, these pointers. Oh, look, I see silly stuff, and I tend to buy it, okay? And, um, well, I was thinking, how can I turn that into a spider catcher? I don't think I can. And there's also another one that I saw in a store, and it's a longer version. I mean, you could poke a spider with that, but I don't think you could catch it. And that's for resetting your fire alarm if it goes off. So it's a nice long stick that you stick up onto the roof. And it's... Look, I buy silly stuff all the time, don't I? I prepared for myself a nice long piece of aluminium here. And uh, up the end here, we're going to put our spider catcher right there. I'm still undecided here. I'm really flip-flopping between the cable ties, which I love, and also the bell line. I love this as well. I think I'll go with the bell line. There's something about this that I like because I think the spider is not going to get crushed uh, by this. It's nice and soft, but not too soft, if that makes any sense. I've got my bell line here. Uh, I like this, and it's going to be a process of making loops like this and just getting another piece up, making another loop. I think you can see what I'm up to here. Making another loop and just repeating the process over and over and making sure I've got enough tail here so I've got something to combine it onto my piece of aluminium uh, stick which will be the part we're doing next so, uh, yes so I think this is going to be a winner I hope I've snipped it away from the main cable there and this little tail I'm just going to come in and do a bit of a twisty on this end and then there'll be a bit of tape baroonies okay that there's my piece of aluminium and that's the little monkey thing that I've just pulled together with the bell line this here is electrical tape. I like electrical tape because, well, you can bind things together nice and tightly. And we're going to be quite thorough here uh, because I don't want this thing to come off. And I don't want any little peepee -pee holes where uh, little spiders can hide on me. It's probably the most boring thing to watch someone tape a spider catcher onto a bit of aluminium. But hey, who knows, it might be the best thing you've ever seen on YouTube. And I think that's going to do it just there. And then I'll do a bit of a cover that up and then just pull it like ah, like that okay uh, that's on there's my spider catcher I can take some of these away I'll call them petals if you want to call it petals I can bring them back as well it's nice and versatile I've taped it up nicely there nice and tight and I'm hoping I can extract the redback spider without uh, knocking it out that's what this is about we're back outside and there is my redback spider extraction tool. I'll just have to come along here and uh, spin Mrs. Cow upside down. 
And uh, in this little process, uh, I don't know how much videoing I'll be able to do because I'm going to have to have my full concentration to extract Mrs. Redback. I'm just going to use a house brick here because I think uh, getting a comfortable angle to work on is really important here. Okay, I think I can do the uh, removal now. I've just got a cheap torch here. It's an LED torch. I hope it doesn't go strobe stupid on me. I've got some blue tack there and I really want to see what I'm doing so I'm just going to uh, rest that there and hopefully it will illuminate what I'm up against uh, going on down there. Okay, I'm going to try my best here. Um, this, uh, Redback's quite aware that things are going on and uh, I'm going to try and get her to crawl onto this tool and um, obviously bring her out plus her egg sac and relocate her. Yeah, so kind of to be nice and gentle here. And it's, uh, she may want to attack this thing. You'll see her do a leg back thing and web and stuff. But I really want her to crawl onto it. She won't want to leave this area because her egg sac is there. And I'm just going to try and do my best and spin this in there. There's a lot of her web in there. Come on, Mrs. Redback, she'll probably ball up and play dead. I think she might be doing that now. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it, hey? She doesn't want to leave her spot, and I don't want to knock her out. Come on, Mrs. Redback, come to Papa. Got a nice new home for you. This is proving to be uh, quite difficult to do. I might have to come in and do a bit of a custom flaying on this part here. I can see there's just one of the spiders that she caught and um, just make it so it's a bit more latchy uh, to her legs. I've folded some of them back. I think I might have had a too few many uh, things to try and get her and that's what I've got now and I'll try again. No, I think she's just playing out. Yeah, there she is. Come on, I wanted to latch onto this but she doesn't want to leave that spot. Oh, I thought I had her then. Yeah, I, oh, do I have a, got her yet? No, she's doing a bolt. No, come on. I want you to be on the pool, I think. I think I had her. Okay, I'll be going in again. At least she's still kicking, that's the main thing. I wanted to get onto this. I wanted to get onto this and I wanted to come out. Uh, man, she is persistent, I can tell you. She doesn't want to come out, come on. Oops, I don't know where she's gone. Oh, she's down there. I'll do a spin, maybe I can get her to come on that. Come on, I just want you to hop onto this and then we can we can do all sorts of fancy things. There's a reg sack down there again. Come on. Actually it's a it's a lot trickier than I expected, but then again, uh, she is doing the best she can not to be with me. It's just a natural thing for her, isn't it? Well as dodgy brothers as this looks, oh I thought I had her there for a moment. She was on the tool and then she's just done a bolt to the side. Okay, after what was some extensive period of time, yes, uh, I've got her there, there she is. She's wondrous, isn't she? And she's still all intact, she looks like she's got all legs and stuff. That's what we want to see, and I do have a wondrous new home for her, and I will be getting her egg sac as well. In fact, she's coming up the tool here. And I'll take this out here, and I will just carefully take her over to a new home, and I'll get her in, and I'll also get her egg sac, don't you worry. Okay, okay, she's in a home, yeah, she's down there, yeah. I just noticed on the tool there's actually there's a beetle on there which is still alive. Well that can be one of her first meals in here. I dare say if I get it off the tool. And I've got to come in and also grab that egg sack there and it's uh, going to be sort of connected onto things. Oh man I don't want to crush it. That's going to be tricky to get out. Maybe I just have to refine my tool to be uh, a little bit different. I'm just going with one hoop there and uh, if I'm very careful hoop onto that egg sack and then pull it out. Uh, it's easier said than done, isn't it? Easier said than done. And done like a bit of brain salad surgery. Yes, I have the egg sack on the tool there and I'll just get that across to where uh, Mrs. Redback resides. It's somewhere down there, I feel. I'll just make sure she knows exactly where it is. I'll just put it right beside her and she can sort that out. There's Mrs. Redback down there. I'm starting to get used to her new environment. Uh, it's not really spider tank 2.0, I'll just call it a convalescence home uh, for redback spiders. Uh, I learned a few things from that first spider tank that I did. And what I've done on the top here is I've used white lithium grease as a spider stopper. I've 
resorted to the same Vaseline treatment along here, but now I'm very refined at doing it. I can do it nice and neatly. And I know these spiders love to set up on metal structures, and that's what I've put in there. I've put like a, an X in there, and it gives the spiders uh, four major opportunities of areas where to reside in this wonderful enclosure. One of the main attributes to a redback spider is they are highly adaptive to new environments. Uh, it's going to turn this into a home very fast. So I know how these girls operate. And if I didn't get the egg sac now, I think, uh, oh, maybe in another week, maybe two weeks, well, there would have been a lot of little spiderlings running around uh, underneath Mrs. Cow. Don't get me wrong, I love Mrs. Cow, but sadly the redback spiders love her more than me. Uh, the video was really about making a little tool to grab redback spiders without taking them out, and I think I succeeded there. I certainly did succeed. I like the fact you can fold these back. I like this, actually. And if you want to, you can, you can pull that forward and have the full prong effect. But, um, yeah, I hope we learnt something in this video, or else I'm in tons of trouble. Oh, I better snip this on at the end. You'll want to see Mrs. Spider in the tank and how fast she works. Yep, she's uh, setting up home. She's just doing one of her frozen moments, contemplating her next move. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I think I know where she'll set up because I think I know how her brain works. If I was her looking for a nice comfy home, well, the part I'd be picking off is uh, that section right there. I'm hoping that's going to become her little spider home. I know some of you may think, oh, that spider's dead, it's just hanging on its web. No, it's alive and well, it's just a little bit uh, in shock because it's been moved, and I'll get it, get it to move if I play with its web there. Come on, Mrs. Redback, there you go. She is alive and well, and setting up her webs very, very fast. Yeah, in fact, she might be setting up her webs a little bit too fast for my liking. I'll say within a day, this whole tank will be hers. Web everywhere. Best thing about this time of year, the garden is cranking. Wow, look at all the stuff down there. Have you seen my garden glove, Daddy? No, dear. I just thought I had another pair out here. I don't know where is it now. I couldn't find it. Really? Nah. Oh, uh, no. This wouldn't be a chance if you left them out here. You don't leave your garden gloves out in the garden, do you? No. No way. 